today we're here to discuss 10 mistakes that sellers often make when selling their home. So the number one is pricing. Everyone wants top dollar for their home and I understand that, but you have to be objective and realistic while pricing your home. Evaluate how your home compares to the ones similar on the market along with the ones that have sold without their emotions and memories you have tied to it. Because buyers don't really care about any of that. And don't be that guy who helps sell your competition. Number two, restricting showing times. If people can't see your home because of restrictions on showing times, then you're killing your own chances of selling. Make it easy for buyers to get in will result in more showings translating into more offers. Number three, fees. Don't forget about the fees. Selling a house usually involves fees like commissions and closing costs. Think about these so you don't get unpleasantly surprised at closing. A little tip, don't forget about the taxes. Something that people often forget when they're doing their calculations. Number four, decluttering and depersonalizing. The point of this is to bring your home back to a neutral state, allowing buyers to feel comfortable in your space while walking through it. Things to look out for that people often miss are family photos on the walls, any religious items, absurd decor, kids toys, and on and on. It's really important for the buyers to vision themselves there, not you. On to number five, we're gonna talk about colors. When picking colors for the wall, pick neutral and bright tones. These tones create a sense of calm and flow in the home. You wanna stay away from rich, loud, and dark colors on your walls. The goal is for the buyers to see themselves living in the home and not be distracted by your personal taste. Buying a home is an emotional decision. We want to remove any speed bumps that prevent anyone from visioning themselves in your home. And the number six mistake is Details. Squeaky doors and doorknobs, leaky faucets, burnt out light bulbs, mismatched lighting, like daylight color and then the yellow color, Christmas lights in July, lawn overgrowth, dirty pools, normal things that can be solved with a little bit of elbow grease. So we're already at number seven, cleaning and orders. You're in competition with other homes on the market, so clean it up. Dirty sinks, soap scum, dirty chandeliers, carpet stains, dirty baseboards, or even gross grout. Not doing any of these will position your home as not being maintained. You don't want that. It'll really turn qualified buyers away. Number eight, curb appeal. The first thing when anyone shows up to your home is the outside. They always look at the outside first. First impression is a lasting impression. Repair cracked pavements, trim the bushes, mow the lawn, pull out the weeds, and so on. Number nine, staging. When all of that is done, we got the colors, we got the details, decluttering, depersonalizing, got the curb appeal done. Let's get your place staged. Staged homes sell 88% faster and for 20% more than homes that are not staged. All right, we're at the end. Number 10, marketing. That's one of the mistakes that people make. They do all of this work and then have no marketing plan. After all the effort in getting your home market ready, don't flush down the toilet with a lousy marketing approach. The right agent is gonna have a tried and tested marketing system to market your home for top dollar. And hey, cell phone photos are not it. For my clients, I always include home staging, 3D tours, professional photography, twilight shots, lifestyle videos, beautiful brochures, and an intensive marketing plan. And that's it. Those are the 10 mistakes you shouldn't make when you're selling your home. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe below. And if you have any questions regarding the selling process, send me a message, I'll be happy to help.